Here's your daily dose of fitness, food, and fun. Angelica's daily surprise starts now. So if you pick me, you can count on those things. This is aggressive. How did I do? Um... Tomorrow, if the entire real estate market collapses and there's no more war, it was me. I'm a witch. No, this is awful. When you get past the comedian, I'm actually quite cheesy. Hello there, welcome to my apartment. As you can see, I'm in tea stance because I've had a couple les lessons in pageantry. And of course, where would I be without my pageant coach, the amazing, stunning specimen that is Angel Battelle, who is not only a pageant coach, nuh uh, she's not only a pageant queen, which is the pinnacle of, of what you would ever want to be, but she has somehow found the time to become a doctor of pharmacy. Thanks, girl. She is absolutely amazing and such an inspiration, and today she's going to teach me the final phase of my development in my quest to become Miss Liberty Village, uh, but she's going to give me tips on public speaking um, so that I can stop doing this. Um, uh, yeah, um, yeah, and uh, be more eloquent. I think we could all use a lesson in that. <laughs> all right, let's get started. <laughs> Perfect, so we're gonna get started and we're gonna assess where you're at and go straight into the Q&A round. <gasps> I don't know why I suddenly feel more nervous for this than for the bathing suit round. <laughs> so contestant number one, our one and only contestant. All right, winner by default, no big deal. Why should you be the next Miss Liberty Village? As your potential next Miss Liberty Village, I can assure you that latte prices will no longer be $8 for a medium crappy latte. No, my goal is to take latte prices down by $3. That's right, I want to get it down a whole $3. $5 lattes, anybody? Also, dogs. Do you ever walk through Liberty Village and you smell nothing but dog pee everywhere? Well, if I become your new Miss Liberty Village, I will personally power wash the sidewalks at 9 p.m. every evening until I can find somebody else that will do it for me. That's right, I'm all about taking those first few steps. Also, um, there will be no more TFC fans peeing on mailboxes. That's right, I'm a big urine-focused, uh, Platform, I guess you could say. My P platform, if you will. Um, the CNE will go on for longer and there will be free ice cream for everybody on the first day of the CNE if you live in Liberty Village. The, there will be no more meth labs in the condos. I am outlawing condo drug labs and uh, also. Hmm, Harvey's, free Harvey's hamburgers on every Monday, and I think that just about covers it. Uh, so if you pick me to be <laughs> Miss Liberty Village, <laughs> you can count on those things. This is aggressive. How did I do? Um... Well, I think that your passion was incredibly powerful, but I do believe that there was a lack of realistic goal planning. I don't know if you're oh, going to no. be washing the sidewalk every day at 9 p.m. No, but I say what I can to get the job. And the other aspect is I would probably have tied in a personal story oh. or even adding in maybe a personal statistic or fact about what is happening in Canada. So maybe to talk about the financial security, what does that look like for Canadians? How many Canadians are struggling with it? And then go into maybe some of the changes that you would make, such as perhaps it would be trying to petition or trying to create more resources and funding for a variety of different expenses for Free the burgers community. on Mondays though, that, that. But. Okay. Since you were the only contestant in <laughs> Miss Harvey Village. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Let's backspace. All right, I need to get myself in check. First of all, I'm going to stop sitting. <sighs> um, I am going to think of my personal story. Okay, so what is another question 
you can ask me. That's a little... Sure. All right. My next question for you okay. is, how are you a good role model? Okay. Well, this is a very good question. I'm going to try to take your notes. So that's personal story. Finance? Oh my gosh, I'm in trouble here. Okay. It doesn't have to be finance, it's just a fact <laughs> about your personal. No, I feel so passionately about finance though. I've actually been like practicing witchcraft to for the sake of the people. You know, like I'm burning bay leaves with my wishes on them at night and, and sending them out into the atmosphere. And, and tomorrow, if the entire real estate market collapses and there's no more war and inflation decreases, it was me with my Costco magic. I'm a witch. No, this is awful. Okay, I'm doing this again. Wow. All right, you're not doing comedy, Angelica. Speak from the heart. It's time to get real. Okay. Mm, how am I a good role model? Okay. And try to catch your ums as well. So what I would yes. recommend is just slow it down. And instead of saying, um, just take a pause. You know what's crazy about public speaking is every pause feels like 10 seconds, but then if you watch the video back, it was literally that. And I'm always so anxious to fill the space that I keep talking. I need to be more like John Hamm in Mad Men, where he would just kind of like stew, and then people would just keep telling him things. Okay, more John Hamm. Here I go. Mm -hmm. Okay, why am I a good role model? Well... I, I grew up thinking I knew exactly what I wanted to do, and that was dance, and specifically become a ballerina. And I, I grew up with very positive, supportive parents, and they were, they were always going, you could do whatever you want to do if you put the work into it. So I go, I'm going to put all this work into it, and I'm going to do it. And then I found out that my body was not the correct proportions for ballet. And I was heartbroken, and I had to find new ways within myself to kind of go, how can I still become a dancer? Because somebody shouldn't just come along and tell you that you can't do this thing and then you just don't do it. I've never believed in that. I've always believed that there's a way to achieve your dreams in some form. They may not materialize in the form that you picture. But then you look back on your life and you could never have conceptualized some of the beautiful and amazing ways to find your way to your dream. And, and some of those times are ugly and vulnerable, but I try to find periods of growth within those times. And I think that everybody goes through something. And to think that the people that you encounter every day are not going through something. No, everybody's got their story. Everybody's got their narrative and they're all in their own heads. So to be more considerate of others and what they're going through is something that I try to emulate every day and, and treat, people, treat people that way as well. And uh, I think I'm a good role model because I show that you don't need to take life too seriously and that the pain can be a beautiful thing and that there are times to celebrate and, and times to be serious and reflect. And I will say, looking at myself, <laughs> I, I'm definitely not good at all of those things, but I try to find little slices of that within my day-to-day -to, -day to get closer to becoming that person. So I think uh, I, I try to show that it's okay to be like that. And that's why I think I'm a good role model. What an improvement. <laughs> So when you get past the comedian, <laughs> I'm actually quite cheesy, okay? <laughs> so, uh, Angelica, I actually want to go ahead. What? And Is this crown my crowning? You? What? Miss Liberty. Get you to bend down. Feel it. Is this what you have to do? The last demonstration of quad strength? You have to do one last squat if you want to be the queen. Angel, thank you so much for dropping by and turning me into the beauty queen that I know is in me somewhere. And I hope you all got in touch with that beauty queen yourself. There's always more to it than meets the eye. That's been Angelica's Daily Surprise. See you next time.